In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a sub direct out from Equator 2, and it's actually incredibly easy to do. As you can see here, or here, here rather, I've got a really great base preset called the machine. However, one of the issues I have with this particular preset is there is no subby low end. And not only that, but because I've got some grain delay on here, because I have some other effects that I don't want to affect that subby low end, the best idea I have is to set up a sine wave, pitch it down to the subby frequency, and have it go direct out of Equator 2 to not muddy up my mix or give me any sort of issues with my subby low end. So to do that, what I'm going to do is activate the sixth sound engine I have in here. And if I go ahead and solo it, that's what it sounds like right now. And that's not what we're looking for. So I'm going to come into routing and instead of going to the filter, I'm going to go to the dry. Okay, so now it's going direct out to the dry. And if I jump back into the synth, what we need to do is go from noise to wavetable. And we're on our sub. It's actually up about an octave too high. So what I'm going to do is pitch it down 12 semitones. And it's really low right now, but no matter what, you're gonna have to have your nice studio monitors or some decent headphones to be able to hear this. What I'm gonna do is actually crank that up to zero dB. And it's much louder now. And if we listen to it in the context of the patch, It's just giving me that boomy, subby, low-end presence. But if I jump back into writing, I wanna show you something. By default, all three, the effects one, effects two, and dry signal should be going to the amp envelope at 100%. However, if I right click right here, you'll see that I'm actually only going to 47%. So if I take that and bring it up to 100%, we can expect our subby sine wave to get much louder. And indeed it is. So now if we listen to that in the context of the full patch, got a much fuller sub ear baseline and even if I add that grain delay I'm not going to have to worry about that sub getting messed up by it. So you can hear that the grain delay is still you know feeding back or whatever but it's not actually affecting that subby low end at all and that's how easy it is to get a direct sub out inside of Equator 2.